So we're in the car park here at uh, Blackwater in the New Forest. And look at this little mushroom down here. This is Amanita muscaria, the fly agaric. A really pretty little mushroom, poisonous, in fact possibly deadly if consumed in large amounts. There are people who eat this in other places in the world just because it causes wild hallucinations as well as sweating and vomiting and a lot of symptoms you probably don't want. But there we go, Amanita muscaria. Really pretty little poisonous mushroom. It's a mini food haul. I've been off to Yao Brothers in Southampton, Asian supermarket, and bought a bunch of stuff. So let's have a look and see what I've got. I've got some steamed pork buns. There's one missing. I ate it on the way home. I'm not sorry. Sweet potato snack. So this is like a crispy snack made from corn, wheat flour, sweet potato, starch, yeah. crisps. Some egg noodles, very nice fine egg noodles. Some thick egg noodles. I thought these were interesting. So this is pickled preserved vegetables, but in a kind of uh, soft pack. So there's those, and there was another pack there. This one is chili pak choy, and I can't remember what that one is, and it hasn't got any English writing on it, so that's going to be an interesting little mystery. Looks like uh, preserved cabbage or something like that. Can't remember what it was. And some tonkotsu flavour ramen noodles in a little pot. These are my favourite pot noodles. And the rest of it is going to be stuff for weird stuff in a can. So let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got some braised eel, but it's a different brand to what I'm accustomed to, and it's in a different can, which is part of the reason I bought it, really, because I love these little cans. They're very useful for making things out of as well. Some more braised eel. This one won't be featuring on weird stuff in a can, because I have had these before. I think I've even done weird stuff in a can with these. Some pearl milk tea. Mmm, pearl milk tea. Smiling Fish brand fried fish with chilli. Now, it rattles. That's the weird thing. That's what's going to be weird about those cans. And grass jelly drink. And that's it. So that's it. The other one of these is going to be my breakfast tomorrow. That lot came to about £17. I just noticed something on this packet of sweet potato snacks that I bought at Yao Brothers yesterday. The little sweet potato character, I presume that's a sweet potato, he's grinning even though he's had the skin flayed from his head and he's eating one of his children. Hmm. I guess maybe we're not meant to think too hard about that. I thought this was quite interesting. It's now October. And my strawberry plants, which didn't really do very well at the start of the summer, are actually fruiting really quite heavily now. So we've got alpine strawberries in autumn. How about that? And they're looking really actually quite healthy. So I think the experiment might be a success. It's just, maybe I just started a little bit too late. But there we go. So we've got alpine strawberries and plenty of them. At the wrong end of the year. Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy this one now. Oh wow. Mm. Gosh, it's so intense. Mm. Just going to have a couple more of those, I think, because they are just delicious. So intensely strawberry flavoured. Mm. They're just amazingly strawberry. Amazingly intense strawberry flavour. Wow. Well, that's good. So we've got some just probably just about enough fruit here for a late autumn dessert. So my little palm seedlings have slowed down and they probably won't grow very much more now until spring. But they've got their third leaf here 
and this third leaf is the one that might split into more than one frond or maybe not but anyway they're probably not going to do very much more until the spring and then likewise my little citrus seedling also is kind of just getting into dormancy now and it'll probably just sit like that for the winter and then hopefully it'll pick up again in the springtime okay so we went off foraging for mushrooms today and we've actually filled a basket with some lovely hedgehog mushrooms yellow legs and a few yellow chanterelles which is really surprising me because we're in october now and we're still picking yellow chanterelles so have a look at this have a look at this hedgehog mushroom usually when they get this big they're kind of finished but this is a magnificent firm and perfectly sound and edible specimen but bigger than my hand i know i don't have big hands but huge specimen really pleased with that now some of these yellow legs we've had a bit of a dry spell lately and so some of these yellow leg mushrooms have actually almost started to dry themselves so the stalk has gone to a sort of straw color rather than the bright yellow that it normally is when they're really fresh and moist and the caps have started to go a bit leathery and so I thought actually what we're going to do is since these have started themselves off drying I think we'll take some and we'll dry them for my dried mushroom collection so it's the usual thing we're just going to take these mushrooms make sure they're free of any dirt and debris and we will pull them into pieces chanterelles pull apart into pieces very easily like this this is also a very good way of get, making sure there's no dirt or little bugs and beasties inside the hollow of the stem because as these mushrooms grow up they start off with a flat cap but as they grow up they develop a little hole in the middle there and that leads into the hollow inside the stem and I have on one occasion found an earwig in there so I always pull these apart now not that I mind eating invertebrates but I just pr prefer to do it by choice with my eyes wide open I don't think I'll eat earwigs though so I'm just going to pick the drier specimens out of this basket and split them apart like this and just spread them out onto the tray in little strands and those will dry in a day or two okay and as I hoped and suspected less than 24 hours after preparing these mushrooms they're already showing signs that they're well on the way to being dried Eva high five high five Thanks for watching, I hope to see you again soon.